Hello, my friends. Today, we are going to be just sitting and chatting, and I'm going to be going over what I was able to crochet in the month of February. I'm glad that you found my channel. I mean, I created this channel as a way for my friends to learn how to crochet. So if you're new here, this is your first time, you're a new friend, and I'm really glad that you're here. I hope that you pull up a chair today and crochet along with me as we sit and we talk about all things crochet. The month of February was a good one. I, it seems like it flew by really fast, but I was able to create several different things and I wanted to share. Just wanted to share with you, I ended up making this super cute fluffy bunny from that fuzzy yarn I talked about last month in our stitch and chat turned out so cute. One thing that is crazy about this yarn is that you can't see your stitches so you have to crochet um, by feel but I think it turned out super cute. I'm going to stick some slide pictures in it because I put the bunny out in its natural habitat in the backyard so that was cool. Another thing I've been working on, and I'm I'm still working on the pattern on this. I know I keep talking about it, but I'm making a lovey, and it's going to be a teddy bear. And so I'm working on getting the head right and the body right. But so far, I like him because he has a little belly. So there's the bear. And then I have been creating beanies. I made two custom beanies with... Um, flowers on them for a friend. Checking in to share what I've been working on. Peep Fiona. So nice Fiona. Oh I have been on this goal of actually using the yarn I have. In some cases it's been a struggle, some it's not. So I brought this hometown yarn a while ago and I can't even remember the project that I bought it for. But it's been super fun because I, so found I found a pattern that I can help use up my stash. And I was making these really pretty beanies that I am going to leave in the doctor's office when I go. I try and they have a basket for the people that are going through chemo. And so I try and leave the beanies every once in a while when I have time to crochet them. And this will go to that stash because it's super soft yarn. It's not going to be too warm because, yes, your head gets cold when you don't have any hair. That is what I've been making with that. Another fun thing that I am working on a pattern. I don't know when this is coming out because I put it down because it's track season. And I put it down and I will pick it up again. But I'm, I'm working on this cute little bird. I have to figure out his legs. But as you can tell, he's going to be a little cardinal. I have to work on his frill and his legs and then yeah so that's a super fun one yes I'm having fun doing pattern creation speaking of which I was I was super excited because I actually did my first crocheting tester these cute headbands and the pattern is by Cameron's Cute Creations I will go ahead and link it out and it was with velvet yarn which is so soft and fun to work with and these are super quick workup and these would be great for markets so that was fun. I'm also working on another pattern. I made this and it is a stash busting thing that I have been making but I love I'm writing it up I don't know when it's going to come out again because it is track season I'm working I'm working on lots of stuff so when my brain thinks about it I just start working on it so it's super fun so there's that one and then I decided why not make it with velvet yarn because I've got a bunch of that too. So this, I think the camera does not even catch how pretty this is in real life and is super soft because a little velvet yarn. Okay, and I keep talking about this bear. Okay, still working on the bear. I'm getting closer to finishing. So this is another mock-up and what's hilarious is that I had Two, and you can totally see this on the camera. In person, it's harder to tell. So this is the deal. So I went to Joanne online and I was looking for blanket yarn and I wanted a lighter pink. And I found one online that was on sale and they said they had like eight of them. So you know how Joanne is. They have those big like deep baskets of, 
of yarn and then they've got it all stashed. And so I went to our smaller Joanne and I went in there and I could not find that sale yarn for the life of me. I, I don't know how long I was there. I asked the workers and because they have some stuff in the back where the clearance is. I went ahead and bought this yarn. It's darker. And then I went back like a day or two later and I actually found the lighter yarn. So see, it's like so close in color, but they, it was cheaper than on sale with a coupon. And so I bought like three or four of them. So anyway, I thought that I was crocheting this bear with the lighter color because I knew I had more and I wasn't, but you know what? It's still cute and I'm still working on it. So thanks for being patient for those that have asked me about it. Still working on it. Okay. Last thing for today. I'm super excited about it. So I have a new great nephew. So one of my adult nephews had a son and I messaged him and I'm like, Hey, can I make him something? And I would really like to make him a lovey and talked about, you know, how loveys can have safety eyes or not safety eyes. And they chose, he and his wife chose to use the safety eyes. And so we went through all these different animals and I said, well, I don't have a pattern for that, but I'm pretty sure I can work something up because I can be creative. And I, in the back of my mind, I knew he was going to select this thing, but he selected, he gave me a picture of his dog. So I'll pop that in here, picture of his dog and which is a Weimarander. So my dog is a Vishla, which is, this is very, this is your learn something new for the day. Vishlas are Hungarian and Clifford the Big Red Dog is based on them. They have one layer of, of fur. They, um, she looks like she's totally chill, but she is not chill. She likes to be with me, but she is high energy. And Weimaranders are very similar. They are a, um, a pointer, they're a hunting dog and they like the water, except my dog doesn't like the water. My, our other Vishla did, but this one does not like water. So anyway, my nephew sent me the picture of his dog and said, can you make my dog? This is my take on a Weimarander. And I even added his collar and I, and the tail, the tail is just like their tail. So soft, adapted this pattern from this book, cute, and it with this yarn right here. Made it with the Premier Basics, which is super soft. But I had to figure out how to make the ears, figure out how to do the nose, and I did some face shaping. And if you haven't seen that video on my face shape, you, you should watch it because it's very helpful on how to make the eyes go and the nose go. And I'm super excited. And one more fun thing about this Weimarander is that I used glitter eyes because their eyes are silver, just like the, the Vishlas have red hair, red eyes, red nails. The Weimaranders have, their coloring is silver. And so silver eyes and everything else. Super fun. There's the check-in for today. Happy Valentine's to my husband. Went and got this really cute clear container and I got it at Dollar Tree. Isn't that so cute? And then a card and then I ordered him something from Amazon. So super fun. Happy Valentine's Day. And I gotta go let this dog out. Because why not? She's hilarious because she likes the sun on her body when it's like 70 degrees she sits out there in the sun and enjoys it. I wanted to share one of the things that I finished. I'm gonna sit back so you can see that. It is a baby blanket and the stitches on it are just gorgeous. And I think the yarn helps it, you know, just amplify the stitches even more. So I have a friend that's having a baby and I'm really glad that I finished this whip that was sitting there. It's a beautiful cool. pattern by Cameron's Cute Creations. And it says it's in eight sizes. I chose the I chose the crib size and I used the hometown yarn. Yeah, I've already talked about this hometown yarn. I have, for some reason, I have a whole bunch of it and 
I don't know, my brain just gets scatterbrained when I start creating. I go from one thing to the next thing. And it's almost like my hands can't work as fast as my brain is working because I just want to create all these different things. So I have to learn how to pace myself. Probably should take notes on my yarn and my creations that I am making. And I feel very accomplished because it's one less thing on my pile and it's actually going somewhere. That's awesome. So last night I stayed up till midnight to finish this because my grandson asked me to make him something like I made his sister. I had so much fun crocheting a little vest for her. Um, it reminded me of something that my nanny, my grandma, had made me, I don't know, when I was super young. Anyway, her brother, who is almost four, said, hey, grandma, he says, you gonna make something for me? And so, of course, I have to make something for him. And this is what I ended up making. I measured his chest and I measured how long his body was, but I just made granny squares. But it's cool because I did the, the lobster stitch on there. It looks really cool. Makes the edges really cool. But he was the one that picked the color, um, some of the colors in here. So it's more fun because he got to pick the colors. About my temperature blanket to see where it is. Like we are starting to get some warmer days, see where the yellows are. But look how it's turning out. I'm really liking it. Super excited about my temperature blanket and how I'm able to track it with my calendar. That was a good idea and I'm still doing that. And if you're curious, what is a temperature blanket? And really, you can still start one if you want to. If you're interested in, in a discussion about that, I do have a video that I'll link in the comments below. Cameron's Creek. This It's a very cold day, as you can tell. Fiona's back there under her new blanket.